Welcome back to Florida Powerboat Club's YouTube channel. This is Stu Jones in the Pompano Beach studio as we continue our feature coverage of the epic Key West Offshore Poker Run. And it is a very unusual COVID edition event because we took the event from 260 boats back in 2019 down to just 160 teams due to our global pandemic and the restrictions on travel. But we have a lot of ambitious powerboat teams here, so let's get started as we rejoin the group, the Thursday departure run from Miami down to Key West. So let us begin by thanking our sponsors. Let's begin with our 2020 series sponsors, including Deep Impact Custom Boats, their sister company, Blackwater Boats, and their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart, Together, these three companies offered the grand prize sponsorship, a $25,000 prize to the top winner of the poker run. And continuing our 2020 series sponsors, Mercury Racing, Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Michael Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and Superior Communications, our second prize sponsor. In addition to those series sponsors, we'd like to thank these feature sponsors as seen here on our Key West 2020 masthead, including our marina partners, Hallover Marine Center, Grove Harbor Marina, as well as Black Thunder Power Boats, Good Boy Vodka, Marine Concept Motorsports, Conk Republic Seafood Company, and Concept Boats. So we're now rejoining the group at Grove Harbor Marina, which is uh, staging point number two for our Thursday departure and, of course, one of our official headquarters for the Florida Powerboat Club. Uh, it's a great location to deliver your boat, have it offloaded from the trailer or use the boat ramp next door. And, of course, you can leave the boat here overnight in the protection of this beautiful marina featuring uh, floating docks as well as fixed piers. And it's uh, also a great staging point because you're right on the doorstep to Biscayne Bay. I know everybody is uh, spending a lot of time prepping the boats because we just had a rain shower and you know what that does to these nice shiny finishes. Everybody wants to get the raindrops off. And Matt Raymond has a huge crew. Matt and Anne Marie are here every event and they're enjoying this big 48 foot Fountain Express. A boat that was completely redone with five outboard Mercury's uh, and that leaves all that space in the middle for guess what? It's all the ladies luggage. They never have less than 12 people on that boat. And you know, you need to have a lot of luggage room for all those bags. Our world famous uh, Jimmy McIntyre and Johnny O'Loughlin, a long time supporters of this club with a lot of toys uh, getting their new MTI 39 prep, the Mercury Racing 450s. Gonna see a lot of a variety of boats on this run, guys. You know, these big black cats and all kinds of performance V bottom center consoles. A very, very diverse fleet of offshore power boats because you know, you've got a lot of guys that are still into the old school stuff. So you're gonna see some old cigarettes, some old Apaches, uh, a whole variety of center consoles like Bill Robbins here in his 39 foot cigarette. I know that he's selling this boat uh, very soon and he's got another one ordered from the factory. Uh, cigarette having a very strong showing here on the event in terms of the roster. But sadly, the cigarette factory not participating with the Florida Powerboat Club for this event. Uh, Key West is our signature event and they're there every year, but they decided not to be a part of it this year. Uh, so maybe we'll see them back again sometime soon. And if you're wondering what is going on with Bill Robbins and his crew here right now, well, he got off the boat so he could come in and pick up his poker run captain's bag with all of his uh, lunch passes and the boat decals and t-shirts and all those goodies. And he's like, okay, I'm just going to slide my ass back on the boat <laughs> and go for the ride. So they're all set. Uh, we were very, very lax about the captain's meetings this year because of COVID. And that means that he never really had an opportunity to check in earlier and get his captain's bag. So we did it right here at Grove Harbor. Everyone's had a chance to arrive early. And we didn't really see it in the video, but they had a wonderful breakfast here for us at Grove Harbor, uh, thanks to Alan Lima and the entire team here. And it gave everybody uh, just kind of a nice casual start to the day, uh, a little coffee and uh, some nice breakfast, and then fuel up the boat, do whatever you gotta do to get ready for the run. And I think that Bill and Megan really needed that extra time because they had quite a journey coming here all the way 1,400 miles from Texas. You know, Megan was driving the truck and trailer, bringing the boat here, and she had, you know, an incident on the highway, damaged the trailer, and they were gonna stop the event, cancel, and move on. But she says, no, 
I want to get my 38 decal. I want to stick it on the boat. I'm going to be there for Key West. So quite the story that they had to tell me in their video bio about how much trouble they went through to be here, but yet they still made it. So congratulations to Bill and Megan Wiles for making it to their first Key West. And here is the floating proof that Matt and Anne-Marie Raymond bring an entourage with them, about 12 people, and that means 12 bags, <laughs> a lot of weight, a lot of luggage, a big party on this Fountain 48 Express. But look, it's the perfect boat for how they like to do their boating and go on the poker room with all their friends. They come down from South Carolina every year. Matt is a Ford truck dealer up there. I think we've all bought our trucks from Sanders Ford, and it's been a great relationship since day one. And we welcome back Team Outer Limits. Uh, that's Jason Amorell in the black T-shirt. Uh, he's joining Jason Bourne here with the SL50 Outer Limits, which is going in the water right now, uh, thanks to the guys at Grove Harbor and the Travel Lift. And a very nice lineup of center consoles of every description. Of course, we just saw three or four Nortex all rafted up there together. There's a Mystic 42 there rafted up to these two cats. And once again, the variety in this fleet is truly amazing. And that was uh, Louis Sotero and some of his crew getting ready for the run. They've got two Donzies registered, a 38ZR comp, and as well as a Donzie center console. And it looks as though uh, Team Bourne, Jason Bourne and his crew, uh, aren't going to get very far. They're going to get out of the travel lift and go oh, about a couple hundred yards straight to the fuel dock because, you know, those Mercury Racing 1350, 1550s are going to guzzle some fuel today. I know these guys are planning to run hard, so they need to top her up and make sure they got a lot of the good stuff. And by that, I mean 93 octane fuel, which they have here at Grove Harbor, and they've got about 175 miles ahead, so they're going to need every gallon of it. And a beautiful scene here at Grove Harbor uh, in the Anchorage, uh, a bunch of sailboats that are not going to be joining us here on this poker run. Uh, but the final few teams just trickling out of the docks here. Remember that we did not do a poker card checkpoint here because we were saving some time. Uh, we wanted to keep the momentum going with the event. So logistically, sometimes we just have to make that sacrifice. And we're going to make sure everybody gets their poker cards down in Key West when they come out to play their hand. Ryan Zavitsky here from the factory team of Mystic with the 40 Mystic Cat to uh, C4000, they call it, Mercury Racing 450Rs. And fast forward to uh, today now, as we launch this episode, they now have a new carbon edition, much lighter and faster. So you guys who like to go fast, take note. And we must congratulate Chad Havens and Chrissy Reese for their 2008 skater, Savage Skater. Uh, they have just announced a complete repower of this boat to Mercury Racing 1350, 1550 dual cal motors. Uh, redone the interior completely, the brand new stereo, and Chad says they've been working meticulously on the setup of the boat to make sure that they get the best possible ride. They trailered the boat all the way from Orange, Texas, 1,100 miles one way. And you've seen a lot of this boat, probably the most photographed cigarette of all time, at least over the last couple of years. The very first of the Toronto series, 59-foot cigarette, six Mercury Racing 450Rs. Uh, owner Derek Walkup from Oklahoma, who spends a lot of time in Florida, a very avid boater and now yachtsman. In fact, if you look uh, in a few of the shots, not this one, but around the corner is their completely redone Broward motor yacht that they purchased from longtime FPC alumni David Woods. Uh, but Derek just likes to own things that are unique in every way. And to illustrate that, uh, here's the rest of his boats. <laughs> of course, everyone knows that the 52 MTI Team Black Diamond uh, Mercury Racing 1550s, of course, now Diamond Crusher alongside Sister Ship, uh, and then that 34 MTI, which is a, a lighter and certainly more nimble version of the other two. But the cool thing about it, it has fuel cells uh, that service the other two boats with race fuel. And one more time for the two Jasons, uh, Team Outer Limits, Jason Bourne and his SL50. And they did manage to get that extra little bit of fuel there at the Grove Harbor fuel docks. 93 octane, which allows them to run it on 1350. Of course, if they had some race fuel with some higher octane, anywhere close to 100 uh, octane, then they could switch over using the key fob. But remember the famous saying, guys, a poker run is not a race, and these guys are going to do just fine at 1350. And with that said, we have our official poker run start here in Biscayne Bay, uh, just about a mile off the shoreline near Coconut Grove. 
and this is an ideal start. Look at the fantastic amount of spacing that everyone has. Remember, we've got the entire bay, and there's no reason for anybody to get bunched up, especially in this first 10 or 15 miles where you've got open bay waters and uh, deep water on all sides. Of course, they're all going to have to funnel through the feather beds in a little while, but for the time being, let's enjoy the speed and the performance of the boats, and let's get some good helicopter time. Our first aerial sequence, let's introduce Team Nortec, High Performance, a factory sponsor team. This is actually Tron Scow's own personal boat, the Nortec 390 Sport with uh, twin row bolster seating, which is a big feature, as well as triple Mercury Racing 450Rs. And it looks as though we're catching up to another center console now, a Deep Impact 36. Uh, now, a big shout out now to this team because this is David Sacker from Chicago. Uh, nine years in a row in this Leo 4 36 Deep Impact, nine years doing the Key West Poker Run. Talk about loyalty. Uh, it's like a pilgrimage for him and his team every year. They just keep coming back. Now let's welcome back for their third poker run with the Florida Powerboat Club, Steve and Teresa Presley in their beautiful 2018 cigarette GTR 41 center console, quad mercury racing 400Rs, uh, white cowlings matching the white decking on the boat, beautiful colors and a great running boat. They did the winter poker run with us earlier in the year. And what's their other boat? Well, it's a 39 cigarette Top Gun. And that's an appropriate segue to yet another cigarette, not a 39, but a 38, one that I have gotten to know quite well. That's because it's the Project 1080 cigarette. 38 Top Gun, 2000 model year, complete resto mod. You've all seen it on YouTube. We did a lot of work on this boat and she's running great. So happy to have uh, some of our Powerboat Club members on board. Rob and Tara Rill, along with their friends, joined us. They signed up to join us for a poker run about six months ago. And because of COVID, they had to bow out for most of that time. Happy to have them back. What a great time we had together riding down to the Keys. And I think that we have now a record attendance for this Key West event. Uh, altogether close to 10 Deep Impacts registered. Mark and Eileen Fisher, uh, the owners of the company, they didn't even have a demo ready to ride. They sold their demo, so they had to borrow a boat <laughs> from another club member. So this is actually Paul Bertuzzi's boat, uh, Beer Money, and he's not even here. So what a great customer to have. Okay, go ahead and use my boat, Mark. Take it to Key West. Not a bad deal at all. Other than my cigarette, we've had a lot of really quiet boats, guys. So uh, let's get ready for some really finely tuned audio as we catch up to this 36-foot cigarette. Wes Abraham from New York, or Tom Jr., as many of us know him, uh, enjoying the ride on this 36 Gladiator that's powered by twin 600s. Well, he pulled back on the throttles, and I'm guessing, I can't see ahead, but I'm guessing it's because he's coming up on some traffic. Uh, but uh, hopefully the next time we catch up to him, he just jams those throttles and gives you guys the audio pitch that you're looking for, a big V8 horsepower. And here's probably the most photographed uh, and most famous uh, Deep Impact of all time. This uh, Deep Impact 399 belongs to Raya Key. It's Team Hammer Time. Why is it so famous? Well, first of all, uh, because it's one of the first 399s that came out with the new hardtop uh, about four years ago, but also because Team Hammer Time has won the Sexiest Crew Award many, many times on this Key West Poker Run because they bring a lot of lovely ladies who dance up a storm and put on a great show. Of course, they're all wearing their jackets today. The ladies are not on board, but trust me, they're going to be ahead in one of the future episodes. We're going to see a party on this 39 Deep Impact. Now we get a chance to see Bill and Megan Wiles in their 2007 38-foot Fountain Lightning with some Mercury Racing 600 SCIs uh, pumped up with Whipple upgrades. Total of 765 horsepower aside, but it doesn't stop there. Bravo XR2 drives, ITS setup, turning, get this, 36 inch props. They said they had this boat running 108 miles per hour on the Key West run. That's pretty amazing for a 38 foot fountain. So congratulations uh, to you guys for making it all the way here, making that 2,800 mile round trip in spite of all your troubles, uh, you made it, you're here, and you're having fun. So thanks for all your efforts to get here and join us for your first Key West event.
And here is our customary shout out to our Miami Dade Fire Rescue Safety Team. Uh, this is uh, the new Fireboat One. Uh, I don't know if you saw it earlier, but it's a it's a brand new boat, all completely redone. I think they call the Metalcraft Marine. Uh, four pumps running, and this is actually marking the entrance to the feather bed, so it gives a lot of the teams the opportunity to put a visual on where the feather beds are if they're not paying attention to their GPS. And here's a man who has done one thing that few of us will ever do in our lives, and that he has downsized his boat. <laughs> yes, he has. He showed up in the last couple of events in a 45 Nortec uh, with five Mercury Racing 400s. Now he's running this 390 Sport with quad Mercury Racing 450s. Why did he downsize? Well, because he bought a yacht, 70-foot yacht, and he didn't have enough room on his waterfront at his beautiful Boca Raton home. Trust me, I saw it. <laughs> he's got two inches of clearance on either side. And coincidentally, as we just saw Kurt, who hails from Boca Raton, now we're joining Darius Sarisa, also from Boca Raton. And the reason I know that is I went to his birthday party recently, and he is putting it on today, giving you guys the show and the audio decibels that you're looking for. These are bored out 525s, now pushing 820 horsepower aside with Stage 2 Whipples and Imco SCX drives. And we are about to encounter what we're gonna call dueling Donzies, uh, two guys that have got together since they both own Donzie ZR comps. And Louis Otero, he jumped ship from a cigarette Top Gun that he had years ago. I remember riding with him to Bimini on it. But he said, no, I need to get myself a Donzie. He fell in love with this Donzie 38 ZR comp powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. That's a lot of power for a 38 foot step bottom hull. And it's uh, you know basically a clone of the race boats from the Donzi factory racing era when they won a lot of races with this model boat. But back then it was with 525s and now he's running twice that horsepower. What a beast. One thing I'd like to say about Lewis, many of us actually know who he is. He's the one who flew that little red uh, single-engine amphibious airplane. It's called a Sea Ray on a lot of the club events back several years ago. So when he's not in his airplane, he's in his Donzi. With the front runners leading the charge, we've spread out this group nicely. We're about halfway through Biscayne Bay and everyone's having a great run. And still got a handful of center consoles running here with the pack. Uh, we're coming up now on Chet and Cindy Huffman from California. They're joining Randy Swears from Fast Boats. We go by the team name Still Nuts, and that's because their previous boat was a Nortec 43 Cat, and it was called Way Nuts. And it's all the way from California every year for the Huffmans to run on this Key West event. And this is a shout out to our safety boat, uh, Captain Joe Balistrieri from Pompano Beach and his 33 foot Everglades. Been helping us out with this event for about three years in a row now. And he's joined by two of our Miami-Dade Fire Rescue uh, dive paramedics and they're here to basically respond to any incidents uh, if they do occur uh, so far so good they look like they're dry so they haven't been in the water yet let's hope they keep it that way and here's another nortec team that never misses the key west poker run in fact they join us for several events on our calendar every year it's the bent marine team from louisiana uh, and they're in a nortec of course uh, this is a nortec 390 it's got all the gingerbread and big power quad mercury racing 450Rs. A little unusual for a bent marine because they mostly order the fishing model, which is called a 392.
And we've seen a lot of this boat just idling around the docks, but I know you guys want to see her run fast. Jason Bourne in this SL50 Outer Limits Mercury Racing 1550s. Those are the dual Cal motors running on 1350 today because they're only on 93 octane. Let's listen in. And now illustrating the true extremes we go to to have a very diverse fleet. <laughs> Check this out. So this is a first time team. Uh, this is Robert Provolenko and he is in his Everglades Sportfish. It's a 435 model and just check it out. All the way from South Carolina. It is the flagship of the Everglades uh, fleet and I think we've probably had eight or ten Everglades total in the whole history of the club on our events but this is truly the Mac Daddy, the flagship of Everglades, and I'm glad this team made it here to join us in Key West. Now let's welcome back Alex Tambellis from New York and his 43-foot Black Thunder. He calls it Team McMonster, and it is truly a classic, a boat that we saw a lot of back in the 90s on Florida Powerboat Club events built in Hannibal, Missouri. It's come a long way to be here on this Florida event, and he keeps it right at the Hallover Marine Center. So. He comes back and forth quite frequently. Uh, his buddy, Michael Tandoy, uh, they spend a lot of time together uh, boating around South Florida waters, but they've been great supporters of our events. Glad to have you back, Alex. And we're now gonna join this mystery cigarette. I love the looks of the boat. I just don't know who it is. We have got several cigarettes in the club. This one has no decals on it whatsoever, no numbers and no side decals. So. It's probably not a registered boat. Uh, it happens to be running exactly the same time on, on the exact same course. We're all a part of one big family and we would love to have you join us. Just call the club office or visit our website to get registered for the next Key West. And here's another team from Louisiana that put on a great show at the Emerald Coast Powerboat Week back in August. Uh, now they're returning to Key West. They all got their matching shirts on. Patrick and Kristen McCarty, they're all part of the Greg Bent team. Enjoying the day in the water in this uh, Nortec 392 Superfish. And I guess that was kind of a photo bomb <laughs> by the 48 MTI Good Boy Vodka, but I'll let you guys be the judge of that. You're welcome to share your comments on our page. And we're now catching up with Justin D. Giovanni from Texas. So it looks like he's catching up with us up here in the FPC helicopter. Uh, a nice turn as we move in closer. And uh, this is a 34 Polini Cat. Uh, he brought it on the run the previous year. He does a lot of poker runs up around the Gulf Coast area. He joins us for Emerald Coast usually. And I believe we're about to see him join us for the Tampa Bay Poker Run. And as we circle back and uh, catching up with our next few teams uh, who are just cruising nice and peacefully down through the bay, enjoying this casual ride today on Biscayne Bay. The center consoles, 55 to 60 miles per hour. That makes it a perfect day for everyone on board. And here's a crew that comes back year after year. This is Parnell and Wendy Olson from Michigan in their 2005 Concept 36. It's powered by twin Mercury 400 hours. The boat travels back and forth from North Miami to Michigan every summer. Uh, but the big news here is that they are at 24 years. That's right, 24 years Parnell's been attending this Key West event. And his next one is going to be the Big 25. We'll have to celebrate that one. I wonder if he's going to bring his saber of the Wicked One. And nice to see this team back again all the way from Virginia. Anthony Bertozzi and his lovely first mate. The boat spends a lot of time in Florida and has attended uh, many events with us here with the club. I believe that they also have a home in Fort Lauderdale. On board with them today, uh, Michael Fuquay and his lovely bride. And they always team up with this crew for poker runs. And if it's not in the red boat, well, it's in Mike's blue cigarette. Yeah. 
And continuing our coverage as we head south on Biscayne Bay, getting closer and closer to Key Largo. And look at that blue sky ahead. I think the weather is going to cooperate today much better than the group yesterday for the Wednesday run. Now catching up with Matt Borsina from Long Island, New York, who's really having a blast with this right performance 36 cat. It's his second one. Last one was powered by Mercury 400 R's. Now he's got Mercury Racing 450s, and he's got a cool-looking paint job. Got his hand on the throttle, and he's living large right now. The only thing we can't remove is the smile on his face because I know he's been loving this boat. Courtesy of Performance Boat Center, the exclusive dealer for this right performance cat. We're going to see more of these cats on this run than ever before. Wait for a future episode when we put all five of them together for a run down in those beautiful waters in Key West Harbor. And I would have to call this the poster boat for concept, uh, this 4400 powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. That's a lot of 400s in this boat. But look at the size of the massive cabin. I mean, this truly is the flagship of the concept fleet. We've seen more and more of them on these poker run events. And I think that Noel and Gretchen did a great job certainly promoting this brand for the last three or four years that they've owned the boat. Uh, they've been on so many poker runs, I've lost count. And by the time this episode airs, this boat has been sold. They've got something new coming down the pipeline. We're not going to share that with you just yet, but we are going to see them on the Tampa Bay Poker Run in their 540 Prestige Flybridge job. And it's a big welcome back to Todd and Heidi Chartier from Michigan, uh, but a coming out party for this brand new Nortec 450 Sport, a Quad Mercury Racing 450Rs. They say it's excellent on the water, but they're really proud of their crew. Uh, Todd said that he had a great crew, wanted me to mention that he had Kim and Alan Whitman riding along, uh, Jamie Pangborn, and of course Bill Yates, another Florida Powerboat Club member. He's the owner of a Nortec 390, but he's got a 450 coming soon. Great to have you guys. What an amazing job on this new Nortec 450. The custom paint and graphics by Stephen Miles Design, and another work of art from the guys at Nortec High Performance Boats. And riding right alongside Matthew and Lori Scholes, also from Michigan. Very good friends with the Chartiers. And look at this. It's a sister ship, another brand new Nortec 450 Sport, uh, a brand new boat uh, just released. And yes, of course, another Stephen Miles design paint job. A beautiful boat uh, and its first event here with Florida Powerboat Club. Glad you guys could make it. And this is what I would call the money shot. Uh, referencing now our location, that is the Card Sound Bridge. So we are now in Key Largo, passing from uh, Biscayne Bay off in the distance, now into Barnes Sound. And this is about a six mile bay crossing over uh, towards Jewfish Creek and Gilberts. And we're now gonna catch up with Brett Manier from Performance Boat Center and really putting on a great show with these Wright Performance 360 Cats, Mercury Racing 450 yards. I think everyone would agree that this motor is really perfectly matched for this 36-foot cat. It's a, it's a beamy boat with a, really a lot of freeboard, very comfortable cockpit. You can sit in the boat and cruise 100 miles an hour all day long and have a conversation. I think that's what people really like about these cats, aside from the fact that the fuel economy, if we can use that word, <laughs> is really not bad. You know, you're getting up close to two miles per gallon running at those kinds of speeds, and that's unheard of in our sport. I think that's why the popularity of these cat models is just going rampant right now. Uh, I think they're great poker run boats, whether you're running down in the Florida Keys or whether you're running on rivers or coastal waters or on, you know, of course, Army Corps lakes throughout the country. You're going to see a lot more of these right performance cats. It's certainly in the Lotto area where it's headquarters for Performance Boat Center. Of course, they do have a Florida location, but you go up around Lake of the Ozarks on a summer weekend, you're going to see a bunch of these boats running around big shout out to Brett and Mark and the entire team at Performance Boat Center for your continued support and the only way you can improve on that 36 foot cat is to sell it and order the new 42 right the right performance 420 also powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs a little bit more boat a little more beam a little more length and just a little more freeboard it's really just the next step up uh, Brad Exton is loving the boat. Uh, he's our newest member in the club. I want to welcome you, Brad, and your team. I love your attitude. You've got a great crew on board, joined by your girlfriend, Carly Cavanaugh. 
along with some of your business colleagues, Brett and uh, his brother Shane Williams from Industrial Injection. And to hear that you guys, you know, in this, uh, you know, performance diesel fuel industry are, you know, motorheads, basically all of you guys. And you say that the Key West Poker Run was one of the best things you ever did and one of the best days of fun. That means a lot to us here. And I thank you for sharing your comments. And quite sadly, we're going to have to end this episode by announcing to our viewers the loss of one of our family, uh, one of our members attending Kenneth Hall. Uh, in this 38-foot mystic. He was joined by his best friend, Danny Weiss, and uh, sadly we lost Ken about three months after the poker run. Uh, passed away at the age of 39 years old, a husband and a father of three. This Key West event was his final poker run, and we're going to miss you, buddy. A great loss to the power boating community. And on that note, we will say goodbye uh, on this episode number five with feature coverage of the 2020 edition of the Key West Poker Run. When we return, we're going to have continuing coverage from the Thursday run as we rendezvous at Gilbert's and Key Largo on this beautiful journey through the scenic Florida Keys heading towards Key West. Remember, guys, you can't miss another episode. They keep on coming, but the only way you're going to know is by subscribing to this channel and clicking that notification bell so you'll get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021 as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page and you guys know who you are and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. So stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.